Hi guys, Steve Good here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. Just a quick tutorial on how to print PDFs that have the patterns that you download from my website. Uh, specifically today I want to talk about the new custom name pet Christmas ornaments that I just put up on the website to be ordered and uh, give you some options on how to print those. Those particular patterns were intentionally made just a little bit large to make them easier to cut uh, for people who are newer to the hobby. Uh, so I want to show you how to use the print dialog that's included with the PDFs to print those at a different size plus a couple other options that uh, you might find uh, necessary for any of the patterns that you download from my site. When you uh, download or receive the pet ornaments or any pattern from my website, you will have a cover page. Page two will generally be a picture of the finished project. Then you may have a couple pages or no pages of instructions or other pictures. But generally, once you get to the pattern page, you will see something like this. Now, unless you want to archive a hard copy of the pattern uh, in a print format, you don't generally want to print this cover page because it's just going to waste ink for you. And the same with the second page and any instruction pages unless you just happen to need those printed out. Most of the time you're just going to want to print the pattern page. So with that we can go up to File, Print, and it will bring up our print dialog and it will give us several options for how to print this particular pattern. Uh, it comes as a default pages to print to all. So in this case, if you selected print right now, it would print the cover page, the picture page, plus the pages uh, with the patterns on them, which happens, which happens in this case to be the pet ornaments. Um, that may not be what you want, like I said. So what you can do is you can use these arrows over here to scroll to a particular page. And let's say we just want to print out this dog ornament. We can get that page in the display, print current page, or select current page, then when we select the print button, it will just print that particular page. Another option is pages. And what pages will do will allow you to print a selection or a set of pages from this document. So in this case, we want to print pages three and four. Those are the pages with the patterns on it. So we can go up here and three and then the minus sign and four and it will print from pages three to four. Uh, similarly, if we wanted to print that second page, we could put a 2 here and it will print pages 2, 3, and 4. So that's another option of, of uh, controlling which pages are actually printed. Now, when we get down here to the page sizing and handling of the document, there's some very important options down here. Uh, sorry about my phone going off there. Um, sometimes, or usually, it will, uh, it will default to actual size. So when you print this document, it's going to print it the actual size that I designed the pattern. And for some patterns, that's critical, uh, especially if it's a slot and tab where they need to fit together or something like that. You really want it to say actual size. Some people will select fit, and it will manipulate the size of the pattern to print to fit it to a page, and sometimes that can cause problems. So always make sure it's set to actual size unless you know you need these other options. Now, the Christmas ornaments this year, I intentionally design all of them a little larger than you may want and I do that because we have a lot of new scrollers who have a little bit of trouble uh, still cutting some of these small areas out. So I make them big enough so that everybody can you know comfortably cut the pattern out. You may be able to cut them smaller and if you can that'll give you the ability uh, to have them hang on the tree maybe a little better than these larger size ornaments. So what you can do is you can come down here to the custom scale and put in any size you want. Uh, I have found that even down to 75 percent these pet ornaments and the Christmas ornaments can still be cut by most scrollers. Um, but you know you may have to play with the size that you're comfortable with. At 75 percent these ornaments get to be about the size of a normal Christmas ornament. They're not just this extra you know few percentage uh, points bigger that I have intentionally designed them at. Uh, so keep that in mind that if you want them a little bit smaller you have the ability to print them out you know using the custom scale. Uh, those are a couple things that I just wanted to point out to you uh, so you would be better able to successfully print these patterns before you cut them and you're not wasting your paper and your ink. So I hope that's helpful. I've had several questions on, on uh, 
on how to print these patterns out and why do I put the cover page on when it wastes ink and you know these different kind of questions so I just wanted to put this video together so I could point to this when people have questions uh, hope you found this uh, helpful I'm Steve Good thanks for being here with me at the scroll saw workshop